Hello everybody, my name is Julian Todd Borden, your solar and roofing specialist here in San Diego, California, and I wanted to make a short video explaining the basic concept behind solar and how really it can save homeowners thousands of dollars, particularly here in San Diego. In the field, I hear a lot of negative responses when I first mention solar, and I've come to the conclusion that it's for the simple reason that most people are miseducated on how it really works. I have never come across a situation where a homeowner wouldn't benefit from solar even if their energy bill was extremely low. I have saved tons of homeowners thousands of dollars by taking them through a proper education of how solar works and I have never received more genuine thanks and appreciation in my life than when a homeowner realizes that they have misunderstood how it worked and they could have in fact already saved money if they had acted years ago. So what we have here is a spreadsheet I made which shows people's energy bill forecasts looking out into the next few decades. And this chart each year increases by 6%, which is actually conservative based on the fact that over the last 25 years here in San Diego, we have seen on average a 7.9% increase annually in energy costs. So listen up because it may be even worse than this. In this example, I have our theoretical house's energy costs currently averaging $200 a month, now in the year 2018. As I slide over, you can see the increasing costs. First month it's $200 each year, then it's $212, and then our annual sums increase as well as the years go on. And you can also see the running costs underneath. So if I come down here, I can actually see a little summary table of our current cost projection if our bill is about $200 a month. And the beauty about this table is that I can put whatever number uh, in here that I want. So, you know, maybe your bill isn't $200. Maybe it's only $75 a month. Well, I can I can put that in and then... Now I, the whole chart changes and I can see your new energy cost projection. Or, or maybe your bill is even higher. Maybe you have a, a big family and you, know, you have a big house and your energy is, uh, your bill is about three, 350 a month. You know, let's see what, what that turns into. When presenting solar, I always begin with a breakdown of their current energy costs and a forecast if they choose not to go solar so they understand what they're in for, whichever direction they choose. So without getting too into the different kinds of solar systems and prices associated with them, I'm going to price out on average what a tier one microinverting system would cost in today's market. You could potentially find this for cheaper and I guarantee you, you could find it for more expensive. Make sure when choosing the right contractor to install your solar system that they are also licensed roofers who properly understand how to attach the standoffs to the roof without potential leaks in the near future. Many jobs that I've taken on have been helping homeowners with a new roof after just a few years with cheap or badly installed standoffs that led to the destruction of them. Another common mistake I see homeowners make is purchasing a big box string inverting system which costs less up front but has a much higher potential for costly repairs and problems down the road. So let's get to the solar portion. How much is it going to cost anyways? That's the big question that everybody has and that's really what this is all about unless you are of course making the move primarily for the environmental impact which I commend you on and I agree that I'm with you in that mindset but for most it's about the savings. So to have this done the right way, professionally, with Tier 1 equipment, with current sdg and &E pricing, along with current market rates for solar, we are looking at about $24,000 for the solar system. After the 30% tax credit, it brings it down to $16,800. This system will work for an average of 33 years with a 25-year warranty, and cover 100% of the family's energy bill. Now that we know the average cost of the solar system required to cover the $200 a month bill, let's look at the savings forecast. So with our current numbers, here is what our savings forecast looks like. 
As you can see, we are technically still negative at the five-year mark, but are saving at the 10-year mark. This brings up an important concept called the payback period. The payback period occurs when you will spend the amount of money and energy bills to your provider that purchasing your own solar system would have cost. In this case, the payback period happens in six years and one month. And once again, the way I'm doing this is I'm finding the point in the running costs that add up to this number right here. So let's go over a basic summary of the situation. Mr. Jones spends on average $200 a month currently. If he decides to not go solar, his expected energy forecast is as follows. He will spend $13,000 over the course of five years, over $31,000 over the course of 10 years, over $55,000 over 15 years, over $88,000 over 20 years, over $131,000 in 25 years, and over $189,000 over the course of 30 years. Now, let's see if he does decide to install a solar system today, what his savings are. The five years, as I said, he's still down, but in 10 years, he will be up over $14,000. In 15 years, the system would have saved him $39,000. Over the course of 20 years, $71,000. 25 years, $114,000. In 30 years, he will have saved $172,000. So there you have it, a very basic overview of how solar works. This is really only a fraction of the information I cover while presenting solar so look out for more videos in the future. If you live in the San Diego or Temecula area, I would absolutely love to be your solar and roofing consultant. I promise to take you through a full education of the subject so you can make the best decision for you and your family. I will build you a custom proposal that makes sense for you and your household and make you the best deal possible to earn your business. Once again, my name is Julian Todd Borden, and give me a call at 760-473-5878 or check us out on the web at projecteco.org.